Hi, I'm Mira from Flow with Mira. It's standing Pilates time and I've got this cute arm weight from Perk is active. You can come along and wear your arm weights if you have a pair. If you do not have a pair, you are welcome to use free hand weights or equal weight water bottle or just do the standing Pilates work itself. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna put this away. So got your arm weights on, if you have a pair or your free arm weights, and we're gonna start. So let's have our feet in an external rotation, V positioned, heels are together. Standing nice and tall to start with. So we're gonna inhale through the nose, expanding the rib cage. And exhale, I want you to actively or deliberately draw in the abdominal muscle, creating a nice thin waistline. Inhale, rib cage will expand. Exhale, your pelvic floor will rise up, the abdominal muscle will wrap in, and you're standing even taller. One more time. In breath. And exhale. And let's lock that abdominal in. Turn the palms forward here. Let's lift the arms up. We exhale for three, two, one. Inhale, lower down. Again, exhale. Inhale, lower down. I want you to zip the legs up all the way from the heels to the pelvic area here. And in breath down. Three more times. In breath down. Two more. In breath. Last one. And stay. Now here, little pulses. We're going to lift the arms up. Inhale. Exhale. One, two. Inhale. One, two. Little pulse. Up and. Two more sets. Last, and hold. This time, create a fist if you're wearing some arm weight here. Now, we take the arms forward, in breath, open. Exhale, I want you to connect your arms into your shoulder blades here. So allow your arm to rest in your armpit girdle and rest in your shoulder blades. So you activate in your middle back here. So your shoulders are not rising up to your ears as you move the arms forward and back and open. Exhale, in breath. And don't forget here, wrap the abdominal in, in breath. You need to stand nice and tall, ground your feet down to the floor and grow away off the floor or grow tall away from the floor. Two more, in breath. Last one, inhale, we stay, little pulses to the back. Inhale. And remember to lower the shoulders down or rest the shoulder blade down. Two more set. Last set. And stay. Release your fingertips. If you are wearing your arm weight, take the arms up to the sky and drop your right arm down. Press the arm down to the side. Turn the palms facing inward for the arms above you and side stretch for me, please. We reach out as we in breath and exhale, recover. And take the arm up. The other one comes down, press in and over we go as we in breath and exhale. Take the arm up, other one comes down. Inhale, reach over. Exhale, arm comes up, other one comes down. Last one here, over we go, in breath. Exhale, and rest the arm down. Bring the feet into a parallel position, so align the heel with your sitting bone, and let's do some standing roll dance. We soften the knees to start, take an in breath. Exhale, let's knot the head forward and articulate the spine down. Keep the arms dangling here, Deep abs lifting into the spine. Go into a maximum flexion and then you tip the pelvis forward. You may soften the knees even more to accommodate more 
of a fall in your body. In breath, listen to your body and see what feels good for you. Today, exhale as you press the feet down, you lift the pelvis, the lower abs up, curling the tailbone under. Bring the pelvis vertically, lower back sticking up, middle back, upper back, and upright. Again, in breath. And exhale, roll it down, articulating the spine, lifting up the center. Then we tip the pelvis forward in breath here. And exhale, rising up, bone by bone, vertebra by vertebra, right up to your beautiful standing position. Let's do one more time in breath. Exhale, we roll down. Just enjoy this. I always love rolling down. If there's so much freedom, allow my spine actually to have more freedom. In breath and exhale, rolling up, rolling up, rolling up, rolling up and lifting up tall. All right, it's time to do some footwork. So you have your feet in a parallel position here. Again, heels in line with the sitting bone, all right? Now, let's take the arms forward as you bend the knees here. So we're gonna make sure the spine stays straight and the knees are tracking over your feet. If you look down, you should not be able to see your feet. And rising up. And we go forward as you in breath. And exhale, in breath. Think about pulling the thigh bone upward as you straighten the leg. And lift, in breath. Exhale, pelvic for lifting up, in breath, exhale, two more, in breath, last one, in breath, one more time actually, in breath, let's stay here, hold, because I need to face that way. Now from here, lift your right heel up, and then open your arms out to the side, and then switch the heel, and change the arm forward, switch the heel, open the arms up, and and, and, so hold that center here. Make sure the pelvis doesn't wobble left and right like so. I want you to stay still in the middle as you open the arms outside and lift the heel simultaneously. And we go. Center is on, always on. We've got two, two, one. One, both heels are up, open the arms, straighten the legs with the heels still lifted. Now let's do it again, arms to the side as we go down. And exhale, we need to balance here. Maybe you wanna hold on to something next to you to help you balance. In breath, I need to focus onto the camera so I don't fall down. And then exhale, in breath. Heel stays up the whole time and exhale. Two more. Lots of concentration needed. Last one here. We're gonna go down again and this time both heels come down. Ooh, thank God, arms goes up to the sky. Both heels comes up, the knees still bend and up. Heels come up, arms to the side and lower and and lower. Lots of quads work here. And lower. And lower. Lift the heels. Two more. Lift the heels. Last one. Lift the heels, straighten the legs. Lower the heels down and give your legs a little shake. Well done. All right, next on. We're going to go down, hold the center here. And I want you to really pull in that center. Take your hands behind your head here. And from here, we're gonna lift the heel up. Let's lift the left heel up. And I'm gonna switch again. Just what we did before. What we're gonna do as we continue to prance the leg, I want you to come up and down. Lift and down. Lift and down. Lift and down. Just watch that your pelvis doesn't sway left and right. And we lift and lower, lift and lower. Three, three, two, two, one, one. Both heels up, both heels down. Well done. Now step your right leg out to the side, palms down. Your feet are still in parallel position and bring it in. Other side and out and bring it in and 
and bring it in. Arms are to the T position. So you can hold onto your arm weight if you're using your arm weight. And out and stop it. And watch that the pelvis doesn't sway out to the side as well. You need to plant the pelvis vertically downward. And out. Okay, let's do one which side. And last one here. Now go back to the first side and we stay. Watch the pelvis, it needs to vertically plant it down. Now from here, we're gonna rotate from the waist, we're gonna swing the arm. And we're gonna catch ourselves forward. And swing the arm. And forward. Rotate from the waist, one arm back, one arm forward. Side. And again. And side. And twist and side, watch the pelvis. Make sure the pelvis doesn't sway with you like so. Keep it stable and twist and side. Two more, twist and side. Last one, twist and side. We stay, transfer your weight to your right leg. Lift the arms overhead here, balance and lift the left leg up and down. Lift and down, straighten the arms. Reach the leg long, five, four, lots of work in the supporting leg here, hang on there, two, one, bring it down, place it down, arms back and step in. Awesome, other side please, we go, out. Stabilize the pelvis and let's twist and back, swing the arm, out and back, swing and back. Swing and back. Three more. Two more. Last one. And stay. Now from here, transfer you to your left leg. Arms are straight and lift the leg up. And so you are in a diagonal position here. Strong supporting leg. Strong long back. And lift the other leg. And lift. And five, woo, I must lost myself. Four, three, two, last one. Bring it down, place the foot, arms back, return. Shake that shoulder out, well done. All right, now from here, we're gonna rotate out, rotate in, rotate out, rotate in, rotate out. So you are in a wide V position. Hands on your hips, you can hold on the arm weight on the hip on there, and then we go down. Now again, long spine, try not to tilt forward, lift that pelvic floor, work out and open this thigh, thigh over your feet and rise up. And we go, in breath, exhale, and in breath, exhale, and push the floor away as you lift, and push the floor away and we'll lift, three more, and lift, two more. Squeezing inner thighs, last one, and lift. And we need to go down again, here. Turn the palms up, that's why, bend the elbows. Little punches here, right up, and left, right. Stay down, and, and. Turn the palms to punch, and punch. Rotate, punch, and punch. We got three, three, two, two, and one, and one, bring it in, and rise it up. All right, we're gonna go down again. Stay down into that squat, arm out to the side, over to your right, little side stretch, in breath. Exhale, and side stretch. Exhale, and in breath. Exhale, and one more each side. Last one. And rising up and going down again over to the side stretch to your right. And we stay here. Little pulses with the leg. Exhale. Inhale. Reach the arm long. Exhale. Inhale. And inhale. Last set. Inhale. And back to center, rising up. We're gonna go down again. We have to pulse the other way. Over to your left, and a little pulse up. Inhale, 
and sh, sh, inhale. Last set. Back to center and come on up. We need to go down again and we go down. Arms up to the side. Lift the right heel up. Little pulses too. Inhale. And one more set. And, and stay down. Lower the heel. The other one comes up. We go. Inhale. Press up, up, in breath, and inhale, and stay lower the heel, and stretch the leg up, walk your feet in, 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 well done. Now right, let's turn to your right here. We're gonna bend the knees, fold the hip forward this time. All right, now, your bottom is still a little bit backward here. Your knees are slightly forward as well. Your body is tilted diagonally. We swing the left leg out, the front leg out. Arms up and we bring it in. And go rich and in breath in. Exhale and in breath in. Exhale in breath in. Exhale in breath in. Three more in breath in. Two more. In breath in. Last we stay. Rotate the hip. Rotate the leg. Open the arms to a diagonal position in external rotation and go back to that parallel lunge position. And we go open, rotate, and back. Center. Two more. Rotate, reach, and back. Center. Last one. We stay here. Rotate, stay. The other leg's gonna come up now. We lift, down, reach. Stay in external rotation. Three, five more, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Bring it back and step in. Come on up, other side. Okay, so let's go. Forward fold, your feet are in parallel here. Let's go, step back, bring it in, and two, bring it in, and three, bring it in, and four, and in, five, three more here, six, two, seven. Last we hold there, we rotate, open, rotate back, parallel, rotate, open, rotate back, parallel, rotate, open, rotate back, one more, rotate, we hold, transfer the weight in the supporting leg and then we lift, eight, and find your center, really work and squeeze that center so you can support your spine and feel a little lighter, and lift, and two more, last one, and rotate back, step in, and step up. Whew. Good job. All right, let's go back to your V position. And this cute. I love the colors. Let's have your hands behind your head here. I'm gonna finish up with some cool down here. So resting your head into your arms and allow the arm to sort of rotate forward and the elbows reaching away here. Flex the upper back and middle back forward, drawing the center in. So gently press the head into your hands, gently, gently, rounding the back and lifting the spine and then arching back. You're gonna support your head here with your arms and back to center. Exhale, gently press the head back into your hands as we flex forward. Obviously, the abdominal is going to lift up into your spine and we're going to lengthen the spine up and we're going to lengthen backward, arch back, extend and center. Two more, exhale. And arch back and back. One more, exhale. And arch back and lateral flex to your right in breath. 
and back to center. Over to the left, in breath. And I want you to push your feet down so you can go taller away from the floor. In breath. And lift. And in breath. And lift. One last one here. All right, let's go some circle here. So we go to your right. Flex forward, down, rotate over to the other side. Side flexion over to your left. Come up right. Over to your left. And round forward, over to your right. And back to center. And over to your right. <laughs> down, have the thing which is your left and my right. And back to center. And over to your left, oh, down forward, and right, and come back in. Let's do one last one here, because it just feels so good. And down and around, and side, and center. Last one, side flexion, forward flexion, rotate to the other side, flexion, and come on back. Release the arms, bring your leg back to parallel, one roll down, take an in breath. Ah, exhale as we allow the spine to just curl forward, forward, and tip the pelvis forward. In breath. Exhale, roll up, roll up, roll up, lifting up the spine and tall. And you are done. Wow. Thank you, Parakis Active, for this cute little arm bangle. So gorgeous. And thank you, you, for joining me today. I'll see you back on the mat tomorrow. Well done on completing this class, your star. I'm Mira, and I'm here to help you to love, look, and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free six-day intermediate challenge. Click the first link in the comments and join us in getting fit, strong and feel energized with a calendar of new intermediate Pilates videos. This six day challenge is taken from my 28 days intermediate Pilates program. If you would like to join the full 28 days, you'll find a link to my Flow With Mirror online membership in the description. See you in the next class.